and hold for small child upstairs that's pole vaulting currently. All right. Are we done? Can I shoot the show? Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Ebbs, and here's what's happening this week in STEM. Scientists have come up with a new reason to have an excellent sense of smell. Besides figuring out which one of your coworkers farted in the clean room, I'm sorry, it was me, guys. According to a study recently published in Nature, those of us with better noses tend to have more prolific social networks. Besides being that movie starring Lex Luthor, Spider-Man, and London Tipton, your social network is defined as the group of people that you have regular social interactions with. That means your BFF is in and that one weird dude from high school that you only see at class reunions is out. For the study, the scientists evaluated the 31 participants' social networks using the social network index and their senses of smell based on three criteria. How sensitive they were to subtle smells, how good they were at differentiating smells, and how well they were able to identify smells based on a list of four choices. What they found is that people with more sensitive noses tend to have larger social networks. The researchers also used fMRI scans to see how the smell sensitivity and social networking parts of the brain interacted. What they found is that there's a strong connection between the amygdala, the part of the brain associated with emotions and behavior, and the orbital frontal cortex, which is tied to smell sensitivity. Now, smelling and social interactions being tied together is nothing new. In the animal kingdom, smelling is used to establish a social hierarchy, establish territory, and to determine if other creatures are friend or foe. And while we humans have some of the weakest sniffers among mammals, and we don't exactly sniff each other's butts as a form of greeting, we still use smells in our social interactions. For example, when meeting a new person, we can glean information about their gender, age, illnesses, and even their emotional state. People that suffer from psychiatric disorders that affect social behaviors, such as autism or schizophrenia, tend to have weaker senses of smell. In contrast, people with very sensitive noses tend to be associated with extroversion. So watch out for that one person that we all know that can make friends with anybody for life. They know when you haven't showered in three days and are covering it up with a lot of Febreze. So that brings us to our question of the day. What is one of your favorite things to smell? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, if you wanna check out this story a little bit more in depth, I will include links to my sources down below along with links to all of my social media. So check that out in your free time. If you like sciencey stuff and you wanna see more videos like this, please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out videos every week to talk about the latest and greatest in STEM news. Don't forget, less than one week left to buy this limited edition retro gaming stimulus t-shirt before they are gone forever. And to everybody that's already bought, thank you guys so much. But yeah, time is running out. Check the links in the description down below. As always, if you find any really cool STEM related news stories throughout the week, please feel free to send them to me on Twitter at, at the stimulus using the hashtag twist them, and they just might make it in the show. But as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.